Hi. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Mark and I'm from North London. Brilliant. And Mark, how old are you? I'm 46. Who have you brought with you today? My wife. She is somewhere in the audience. Brilliant. There she is. My daughter is here, but she's only two years old, so she's um, watching Peppa Pig somewhere or something, yeah. probably. Are you a magician? I am indeed, yeah. And is that how you make a living? I've done a lot of jobs, not necessarily living. There's, okay. there's the good and the bad. Well, the best of luck. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Can I join you? Yeah. Okay. I've always wondered, what would it be like to experience real magic? Well, two years ago, I did, and it changed me and my life forever. Amanda, yes. I'm going to ask you to give this Rubik's Cube a mix for me. Can you keep on mixing until I come back to you? Yes. Thank you. David, mm. inside this box are 25 different coloured crayons. I'm going to give these a mix, and David, you're going to choose one, but without looking. Just grab one at random. Hold it in your hand, David, but don't look at it. Keep it hidden. Alicia, yes. these cards belong to my daughter. It's important to see that all the cards are different. Yep. I'm going to ask you to just touch the back of any one. It doesn't matter which, but what is very, very important is that I don't do any sleight of hand. Okay. So I'll spread the cards like this, point to any one that you like. Wow, right down the end. Can you hide out your hand for me? I'm going to place that card on the palm of your hand, genuinely the card that you touch. Is that okay? Yes. Lovely. Amanda. Yes. You have mixed that cube yes. into a completely unique pattern. Yes. Fair to say? Uh-huh. We'll get back to that in a moment. Simon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you to hold this pen in your right hand right here. Perfect. You lower your wrist down, get comfortable. Yeah. Lovely. This book belongs to my wife. There are over 600 pages, around about 200,000 words in the book. Alicia, can I ask you to close your eyes for a moment? And just say the word stop. Stop. Simon, I'm going to hold the book above your pen. Mm -hmm. Amanda, can you say the word stop as I do this? Stop. Simon, can you bring the pen up to the page without looking and draw a small circle the size of a five pence piece? You don't have to be precise. I'm going to place the book down in front of you here, Simon. I'll take the pen. Can you do me a favor? Lift up the book. Don't show me, but have a look at where you've drawn that circle. Can you confirm that there is a word or words that you can see within that circle? Yeah. Yeah? There is? <laughs> Wonderful. It's a good start. David, can you tell us what color crayon do you have? Red. The red crayon. Alicia, for the first time, what car did you choose? Ah, oh, Puppet Penguin. The Puppet Penguin. Amanda, very carefully, yeah. can you just lift off the box so we can see the pattern that you've created on the very top of that Rubik's Cube? Now, if I told you that I knew this exact outcome yesterday, a week ago, or a month ago, you'd say, well, that would have to be magic. Some I would. people would. I would. But it's not real magic. It's interesting, intriguing, maybe clever. Some might even say amazing, but it's not real magic. See, for me, real magic changed two years ago. This, to me, is real magic.
Wow. And Simon, that leaves just you. For the very first time, Simon, what is the word that you circled? Hat. Hat. H-A-T. Yeah. Simon, this is for you. Isabella, you beautiful little girl. If Daddy was going to do Britain's Got Talent in two years from now, what random word do you think Simon would think of? Hat. Hat. H-A-T. Oh, my God, that's amazing! Wow!